all right in this video we learn how to make a signet ray okay but before we do that let me show you the manual way how we do this okay you get this ring rail outside the outer ring rail outside this has to be um, all right you can take any of them and you can just simply rebuild them and you can uh, make your ring rail manually explode this one okay I have this half I'm gonna delete this one rebuild with nine points preview okay rebuild this with 12 points All right, now I'm gonna draw a line from here what mirror this one this side okay now this is where I have to make my design all right so I can use the same plane locket to draw a design and then later on I can uh, rotate them back okay center let's have it this way example explode it you can make any kind of design you want <coughs> right and uh, arc Okay, this has to go this back. Now you can extend them and you can get them exactly at the at the midpoint. Mirror. Join this. Okay, before I do this, join it. Me have a copy this side. You can draw any kind of design you want. You need to make the border from now? Hmm? The border, that thick part, you have to do it from now or you can do it later? Right? We can do it later on. You can also do it now if you want. Here are this side. Alright, I have got this one. Kabulian. All right, Angulian put all yes. Okay. It's, uh, it's straight from underneath. It's not round. Hmm. This part is just straight like that. Yeah, you can draw any kind of design just to show you know. Uh -huh. Designing is your part. Okay. Just showing you the way how to do this. One mm. Okay, you got this offset inside. All right, then you got to rotate this from the mid over here 90 and then move it up quad yeah now bring it down you know to this rail not exactly up that was my mistake and then you can move it from here let's say 3 mm height if you need 3 mm or 4 mm whatever all right so you have this section uh, upside unlock now I don't need this two, so I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna get some points on this one, and I'm gonna move the point to mid. Okay, I'm gonna give a nice shape from this view. Okay, scale one D. Point zero zero one enter use shift or auto to make it straight all right near this to this side okay now you have two options now this uh, this rail is uh, going straight meaning from here it's going straight all right it's not going like any of other shape so you can do 
two option with this one you can extrude this one okay straight down okay but when you extrude them you know it goes outside this ring rail the outer ring rail over here so this is what we cannot do with this one if you even if you do, if you do this what what you need to do is you need to taper them properly so you maintain the shape you can extrude them and you can put them in a box and you can just uh, adjust them uh, you see like this how i adjusted yes you can do like this with the extrude command but make sure you use a um a flat command option this is one way yeah and the other way you can then if you need to give a shape from here you can give it to make sure you do this flat option yes all right you can have it this way select this one and then you cut this out all right yes you see and then you have to make a cross section over here and then for do the sweep too yes all right this is one of the way but make sure you know you should match this design from the side view because yes. sometimes it doesn't for example let me show you from here if I make a section uh, section again it's F4 okay I got this section over here I can use the same uh, curve to trim this out so I don't have them extras All right? mirror this to this side maybe it's not similar to what we have on the other side so all right you draw a line you can uh, or you can make another section section all right trim this one okay i got two of them over here view selected this one don't need it okay so i have this and this over here join them together surface sweep two one two three uh, i need to join this two join sweep two one two three four it's not gonna sweep i think no it did sometime if you have a uh, one close and one open it doesn't do but here we're gonna we just need them half so I think that's the reason it's getting it done you know but you see it doesn't match the shape yes. from this way so you might need to uh, do uh, um, what do you say a taper or uh, you need to add a section so you can match those match those uh, shape properly you know all right the other way all right now we'll do the other way undo this steps everything okay all right redo this one now the other way to do this one is to do a sweep to you can do a sweep to but when you try to do that you don't have any controls to fix them from the side view for example this view all right yes. but over here it's come out it's come out very nice you see this shape this particular shape it came out properly but sometime if you have any circle or any kind of uh, other shape it doesn't come out properly okay so you have to check if you can uh, okay cap this one uh, cut out all right now you have to cut it halfway yes, and the sure. same thing yeah exactly all right this is the second way now We'll do the third way all right the third way is the nice one to do it's the signet ring builder what we have in the um, builder option all right this one you need to copy this no before you copy to the clipboard make sure you project this one on the c plane project to yes. c plane and then you say yes all right now you have a copy i use the control c option copy to clipboard and then i can click on edit button all right i'm gonna delete this one i'll make this zero i don't need any mirror blend all right so i have this option 
paste object from clipboard I'm going to use this okay I got this on the middle of my um, C yeah. plane all right the edit the profile editor yes. right now I'm going to use this one center on axis auto scale okay it scales automatically okay and then uh, you give it you give any name let's say you give a name called bug one yeah and then you can you know any kind of profile you make it and you can save them so next time you can have you have you can mm -hmm. have that on the list all right yeah. we got a profile now I will close this one and then you have a ring rail outside then you can simply start the button before you do that you if you need to know the measurement what you have with this current section this current section you can measure them out with mid to mid 21.21.36 and this is 6.81 so when it says start all right this has to be 4 as we did 4 mm above the ring rail okay now I'm gonna click here this is right now 20.78 so we need 21.36 right that's why I got this one outside the measurement 21.36 enter now this has to be 6.81 6.81 that's it all right and then uh, you can simply edit those side curves you can select anything from here how we make the bezel on top yeah you see yes you can have any kind of shape you and want you can raise this now one sec right so you can uh, you can make your own uh, own curve if you want we don't need them any thing you can use uh, let's say let's use this one all right and uh, you can reduce the size if you want it from this view uh, that's it nothing else you have to do right click there you go sometime you might have a uh, you know not a proper shank as you can see from here it's little bit Just cut outside it. so you need to cut it out and then you can do a sweep too mm -hmm. to get those shape properly yes. all right now how to use this one is simply you know use this option you can Sweet. yeah extra both side and then you can cut this out then you have okay. that's it right you can do anything if you need a height you can raise it up if you need to make a cutout you can do hollow it from inside you just make the design of the inside pull it down and you just make the okay right you do it as a surface or you do it as a curve I do it as in the surface. I make it a poly surface and then uh, I do the like cutout mm -hmm. right and you just pull it down and that's it yeah but sometimes it doesn't get you you know proper so with this kind of shape you won't get it you know exactly what you want so you what what you can do over here let's 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 do this undo now I got this one now I have this one over here I'm gonna make a new signet ring okay with the less ring rail with the less uh, uh, what do you say the yeah less ring size okay one minus ring size what you have right now so I'm gonna measure this one okay I don't need this anymore delete delete okay let me project this project to C plane you didn't put you yes right now I'm gonna measure this one sorry all right and then I'm gonna get again I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard okay signet ring rail I'm gonna get a new ring rail and this time it's gonna be smaller than what we have right now so let's make it 6.75 yes okay you see over here and then 
copy this to the clipboard and edit them delete this one right make it zero okay paste from the clipboard center to the axis auto scale right and make it bug one hollow all right save refine okay and then we'll start to make a new one now I have those sizes with me so it's 19 point 19 point 36 yes, another one is 4 .8. right and this one is 4.81 so you're going to make it less 1 millimeter right? yeah yes. just raise this outside okay and you can see over here it has to be 1 mm you can type it over here 1 mm all right and uh, that's it. it you cut the bottom part and you just do it right yes. so this is what we got a uh, inner ring for this ring and then I'll just cut the bottom part as you said and you do a boolean right so this is a nice way to you know uh, it's, a, it's a better way it's a yeah. better way it's a nicer way of doing it and join it trim this out the inner one mm. Now, undo. Okay. Cap it. Okay. Fill it. You see, you get yeah. The reason, yeah, the reason is uh, because the value is small, so I have to reduce it. Point three. Set all point three. You see. Now it's perfect. So you have to reduce the value. You know, it's they have a tolerance. You cannot go beyond that. All right. So cut out, and now it's completely hollow. The ring. You see? Yeah. You see? Didn't we, we didn't we didn't see this one? You see? The uh, thickness. Yes. Uh, we have to make it less so undo everything you say start you yeah you have those value with you so you don't have to worry you just need to but make sure you know you don't yeah, yeah. yeah has to be 1.376 1.76 all right yeah. now you got it perfect Cap it. Fill it. Let's try to give us some small something bigger. Point four, all right, is good. You see, sometimes it it fillets and it's the fillets edge ends up in the uh, in the edge in the end point. So it might have a problem sometimes. So you just need to do check. You just need to check if there is any naked edges with the fillet. Sometimes it gets you a naked edges. So you have to make sure you don't have any of them when you do the fillet, right? So it's not working on this side. So let's uh, minus the value. Let's make it point three. What was it before? Point three. Enter. Click here. Click here. Here and all right, it's not working with this side, so 
0.2 okay it did all right so select this one that's it you see uh -huh. perfecto perfect all right that's it so with this design you can do a lot of